entamoeba histolytica okay so when i tell entamoeba histolytica i want to think i want you to think actually think about this entamoeba histolytica see nature is so good not just to us it's good even for parasites it's good even for animals you think you take something your gastric ph is sitting at 1.5 to 2 what is it going to do it's going to destroy majority of things majority of bacteria and everything it's going to kill so anything you take and should infect you you have to take it in which form that can you take which form you should take will you take it in cyst form or trophozoite form if you take it in trophozoite form with the thin wall and all it's going to get destroyed with gastric acidity but if you take it as cyst cyst has a thick wall your gastric acidity won't be able to beat, beat it so nature's beauty is that it gave a cyst to these organisms which has to infect humans or any other animal so that it can go through the gastric acidity and go and infect it so anything which resides in the intestines and causing in infection or coming via the food route is going to be cyst this infective form is going to be cyst okay no doubt so here what is happening is first i'll tell you the story then we will revise the table quickly you're going to have a cyst form which is going to go via the feco oral route it is going to go into the mouth of the patient and then it's going to cross the stomach and then it will come to the intestine okay so when it comes to the intestine what is this doing when it comes to the intestine the cysts are going to break and is going to release trophozoites okay these trophozoites are not going to sit quietly. What are these going to do? These are going to erode the wall. When they erode the wall, they are going to erode like this. They'll go inside, then they'll start digging deeper like this. So this is forming something called as a flower-shaped ulcer. So when they're eroding wall and going inside, what do you think they'll find? Blood vessels are being ruptured. They're going to find RBC. So these trophozoites are going to eat up the rbcs that are there the rbcs are going to be eaten up by them and if they are eroding and eating the rbc they'll obviously get into the blood vessel if they get into the blood vessel what will happen it will go to other organs like liver isn't it it is going to other organs like liver and it is going to infect the liver also so this much if you understand you are the master of intermeba histolytica it's very conceptual what is happening here so where is the habitat habitat is human intestine what is the infective form Look at me and tell you know this already. It is cyst. How is the cyst looking? Very, very important. So the cyst is going to have this four nucleus. So one, remember always the cyst form will have multiple nucleus. Okay. The trophozoid will not have multiple nucleus because the cyst is forming trophozoid. Cyst will break and form trophozoid. So trophozoid will not have multiple nucleus. Trophozoid will have only one. Cyst is going to have multiple in that end amoeba histolytica is going to have four nucleus so this is one two three four four nucleus now what is there in the center there is something called as a karyosome so center karyosome you're seeing and there is chromatin that is going like this isn't it you can see it as lines so this is nothing but your cartwheel appearance so this is the first thing you have to know about the cyst the second thing is there is something called as a chromatoid body. This was a PYQ. This there's something called as a chromatoid body, which is going to be made up of ribonucleoprotein. It's a nucleus, so it will have ribonucleoprotein. So it is made up of ribonucleoprotein. So this is about cyst. So this cyst becoming trophozoites. How is it becoming? See the same nucleus is there. I want you to remember the central nucleus. It's important because later I'm going to talk about something which does not have a central nucleus. Okay. So this is going to have a central nucleus and the cartwheel appearance but only single nucleus you're going to see. Then what are these black dots that you're seeing? These are the RBCs that is digested okay so erythrophagocytosis is seen rbcs that is taken up by the trophozoite so this is the flask shaped ulcer whatever image you are seeing here is a flask shaped ulcer see here it is small and here it is big so that is a flask shaped ulcer that you are going to see in amoebiasis so infective form is a quadrinucleate cyst or a mature cyst and infective dose is very less because it is cyst format mode of transmission is feco oral Next is trophozoites. These have single nucleus, central karyosome, ingested RBCs that is erythrophagocytosis. So this is the diagnostic thing. Very, very important. You cannot take cyst and diagnose. You will diagnose with this erythrophagocytosis. Now cyst is going to have how many? Cyst will have 1 to 4 nucleus which is cartwheel nucleus. It will have a chromatoid body with RNP 
and how will you stain this you will stain this with iron hematoxylin okay so iron hematoxylin is the staining of this chromatoid body now what is a pathogenesis it invades the intestinal mucosa and forms flower shaped ulcer it grows extra intestinally into the liver so all these points are clear in the liver it forms the specific pus any of you guys who have uh, you know uh, accompanied a patient of amoebic liver abscess for this tapping you would have seen this anchovy sauce pus color that is very characteristic and <coughs> here what are you going to find you are going to find trophozoites okay so you will find cyst only in the intestine and trophozoites is a diagnostic thing of entamoeba histolytica yes so how will you do the examination you have to do stool examination remain remember whenever you do stool you do three consecutive stool samples of course you are going to check in microscope for the trophozoite and the cyst there are some culture methods also which are called as polyzenic and azenic remember this a is first letter so azenic is only entamoeba it does not have any other organism no supplements are there whereas polyzenic has multiple supplements so a is first letter so it does not have any supplement polyzenic has multiple supplements liver abscess sample that is anchovy sauce pus shows only trophozoites how do you treat it is metronidazole from here on anything i tell is metronidazole or metronidazole congenous for 10 days and luminal clearance see metronidazole is going to kill the trophozoites only how will you kill the amoebic cysts that are there you will use paramomycin okay so whatever is there in the uh, intestinal flower shaped thing and blood and all metronidazole will take care but the cyst that is there in the intestinal lumen should be killed by paramomycin so you give metronidazole followed by paramomycin so is entamoeba histolytica clear 